Back at our many ponds job, uh, the bulk excavation has now been done on this uh, basement and we're uh, just getting ready to do a shock creep of the wall which is basically spraying concrete onto the wall in a similar way they do swimming pools. So just before we uh, do that spray, um, we'll have to come in and put these vertical drains so these are picking up any water behind the wall uh, that'll come after rain and whatnot and they'll go down into the stormwater system. Uh, and then we apply, uh, put our steel sheeting above that and then we tie the sheeting in from the, into the, the piers which have been drilled as I showed you in a previous video. Now they've been excavated and exposed and then they're tied in with these steel bars here to the steel on the face and then this will be sprayed to create a structural wall that runs uh, around the perimeter of the building, as you can see there. So they're um, still working their way backwards, um, but you can see the general gist of it. Tomorrow we'll start to spray this. So up the top, you can see the cap beam. Uh, these uh, bars here, they'll tie into the new slab that will go on top. And this will actually, and there's the cap beam there. So when we spray the concrete, we're gonna spray from the bottom all the way up to the top and cover this, uh, this this, um, the, the, this face of the cap beam here, so it'll be just one smooth concrete wall. Um, that's pretty much it for this stage now. So um, we'll be back in the next few days and just show you the finished product. Um, but you can see here as they're moving along, they're cleaning up the, uh, the pylons, uh, putting in the drains and just getting it ready for, um, uh, for, for spraying um, of concrete. Uh, behind here, this is uh, storm water, which is picking up water tanks that are behind this wall. And um, again, just uh, if you've got any queries about basement construction, dual occupancy or custom homes, uh, Renmark Homes, uh, your um, custom home experts. Thank you. See you next time. We're on site here, uh, just explaining the uh, shock creep walls and the pylons. Uh, this morning I've actually started the shock creating, so here's a good example of the uh, spray going up onto the wall and um, yeah, and there's actually the machine that uh, actually sprays it all and the guys uh, spray it on and then trowel it off and give us this really nice uh, smooth finish that goes up the wall um, that's pretty much it there and uh, there's this is actually the ramp into the basement and that's actually the basement there and this is the finished product uh, going on here. So if we just pan around, um, you'll see uh, as they're continuing into the basement, and that'll eventually all nice smooth concrete wall. And uh, that's pretty much uh, the next stage in, um, in building basements. Thank you very much and see you next time. We're back here at our Booney Ponds job. Just quickly uh, thought we'd just uh, show you the finished shock creep product, uh, which is here. So this is the start of the ramp and the cure concrete's now cured and dried and that's pretty much the finished coat. And uh, just walk along here just to show you. So down, down, going down the ramp, going into the basement and uh, Away we go. So we're basically sitting inside our basement. Uh, above here will be our ceiling eventually. And uh, this is the finished cured product. Uh, looks nice, smooth, no other work has to be done with it. So it doesn't have to be painted or touched up or anything. It's uh, pretty much the finished product for your, for your garage. And uh, the next stage now will be to remove this last amount of dirt and then start putting all our subfloor drains and pumps in, which will pick up uh, any water that's lower than the street. And, um, and then pour the basement concrete and the basement will be then uh, complete. So until next time, thanks. And we'll be uh, giving you an update in the next week or so. Thank you.